Hey, what's up guys? It's Luke and you're watching Watch Stuff with Luke, my reaction channel here on YouTube. And today we will be watching The Mandalorian. Now, last episode was my favorite of the entire series so far. We saw Bo-Katan, and not like I'm a huge Bo-Katan fan, but the funny thing is Bo-Katan was played by Katie Sackhoff, who played Starbuck in Battlestar Galactica. And I kept making these Battlestar Galactica references last time before she even came on and I was just blown away when I found out Katie Sackhoff played bo -Katan. That was nuts to me. I didn't w really watch Rebels that much or the Clone Wars. I watched part of it but I don't know if I got to the part where bo was in the show so I didn't really know about her character being played by Katie Sackhoff and how there was just this huge connection with the character. But lo and behold, that's the way it was, and it just blew me away. I was so excited to see Bo-Katan, and I thought the episode did a really good job of really pushing the story forward a lot, because we got to find out about uh, Sokotano. That was a name drop from that episode, and now he knows where to go to find out who can help him sort of take care of the child, because he's looking for the Jedi, who can sort of help him get this child, you know, um, taken care of, because that's where he's supposed to go. It's uh, the Mandalorian's mission right now. So we'll see where it takes him. I think he's going to go to Ahsoka Tano, but with this show, you never know what happens. He could, he could take a little detour. I have no idea, so we're just going to have to get into it right now. Grab the headphones, put them on. And let's go. Oh, <laughs> the child is trying to fix out? the, the red wire with the Mandalorian. No. Hmm? no, no. This situation the is crazy. The I love the confined space there, and I love this camera cares. angle. They're it's so awesome. Charged. Ooh, the helmet came off, kind of. You know, I think we need to visit some friends for repairs. Detour. Would you like to go back to Navarro? I called it. It's a detour. So she's a marshal now? I totally forgot what happened to her after we left her in the show, so I need to do some catching up. She's gonna have a child now, too. Oh, the Razor Crest looks in bad shape. He paid for a horrible fix up job. Oh, she's buff. Hey, those guys look suspicious. Hey, the place looks I'm nice now. Yes, the Hydean way. That is correct. How long has he been gone? <laughs> He's just gonna sit there? You gotta give some up. They should just do that all show. If we could take out that one last base, Navarro would be completely safe. All right. What are we looking at? He's a sucker for helping everybody. That looks like an old Imperial door, like from the Death Star or other facilities. Nice. Hold tight. What is that? A cigarette? It's a futuristic cigarette. That's what that was. He's gonna smoke it. Use the code cylinder. Oh, it's a code cylinder. There's no guardrail on this. Come on! That is true. They they probably should have a guardrail, at least, for the Imperials. I mean. Safety first. <clears throat> well, they, they must have some pretty sensitive data right there. What is that? Is that Snoke? Oh, that guy. There were promising effects for an entire fortnight. Child is in danger. The whole school's in danger. Oh, the missile. That was everything. Blast them! That's a classic. Oh. 
Oh no, the speeder! I thought that was like a flying ship for some reason. Oh, speeder bikes. Oh, that looks like fun! This is awesome. They suck though. Speeder bikes are no match for that kind of armor, right? That thing should have like coverings on the windows to like shield it. Or I could do that. That works. TIE Pilot's gotta be like the most awesome look in the Empire. Look at that guy. Oh, the Razor Crest! They got it fixed up? Hang on, kid. Oh, I still got the macarons. Those are macarons, right? They look like macarons. <laughs> hey! Macarons confirmed. Ooh, brutal. X-Wings are here. He's back! We break for no one. Is that what it's gonna say? I knew they were shady. What is that? What are those things? Robots? Okay, well, it was a kind of a detour, right? They went to Navarro, we got to see a couple characters, actually three characters from the first season, and of course Moff Gideon at the end. I think that was kind of exciting, but that's not what we're here for, right? We're here to see Ahsoka Tano. We really are hyped about that. So, um, again, I think the Mandalorian and the crew over there, they're making us wait for this. Oh, it's almost unbearable. I want to see Ahsoka. I want to see the Jedi and what's going on. Now, I know some people, they don't really care about the Jedi that much. They want this to be like a non-Jedi thing, nothing to do with that, but... It's hard to have Star Wars without the Jedi or something like that in there. Even if it's just the Empire by themselves. I love the Empire, but they need to have something where they're going against someone. So, the episode was okay. It was definitely watchable. But again, it's just one of those episodes where I don't think... I mean, it pushes the story a little bit. We saw a little bit of story progression with that base. There's some kind of experiment going on here. Um, Moff Gideon's up to something. But... We didn't get like a huge movement forward. So it was nice to revisit some old characters, but I want even more. And I think other fans would probably feel the same way. Hopefully next episode will be a big one. So watch with me then. Thanks for being with me today, and I will see you next time. Cause all you gotta smash like, subscribe, click the links down below so I make a time. See me.